We humans and other one-stomached animals can't digest many of the byproducts that dairy cows can. Dairy cows can utilize many of the nutrients that are found in byproducts. And dairy farmers are also usually in a cost squeeze, so feeding byproducts helps reduce the cost of producing milk. Many byproducts, however, aren't tasty to cows. Cows are like children. If given a choice, they will eat candy rather than their broccoli. How do dairy farmers entice cows to eat their broccoli? Well, they make a giant tossed salad for their cows, blending the nutrients in with the tasty ingredients so the taste of the broccoli is masked. These giant salads are termed a total mix ration, or TMR. A typical cow will eat 100 pounds of feed daily. Giant salads are made by using blending equipment called a TMR mixer. Obviously, when a dairyman is feeding a couple of hundred cows at one time, these TMR mixers are huge. The mixers are either powered by a large tractor, mounted on a truck, and some are even self-propelled. Cows are clever. They will sort out the tasty morsels leaving their broccoli, unless the nutritionist, like a dietitian, is very precise formulating the ingredients. Much like adding oil to a Caesar salad while blending it, enough water is added so the ingredients blend uniformly. It's actually a science on the forage particles lengths, the protein and energy content, right down to how many units of vitamin A, D, and E each cow should receive daily. In the 1930s, research studies indicated that cows produced methane in the rumen that was belched into our environment. Today, environmentalists have often cited those old studies to support their position that cows were contributing to the depletion of the ozone layer. Recent studies have shown that cows are only producing about one-third of the methane in our environment originally predicted. Many researchers believe that those original studies were flawed. Today, nutritionists are much more precise about formulating rations for dairy cows so they actually produce less methane. Either way, don't worry about dairy cows being a major polluter of our environment. A major pharmaceutical company has developed a feed additive called Monensin for beef and dairy cows that actually improves rumen efficiency, reducing methane escape. In addition, cows fed this ingredient actually consume significantly less feed, but still optimize their milk production. Certainly, a win for everybody by reducing escape of methane into the environment, lowering feed costs while improving performance. Cow nutrients for our environment. That's right, folks, you heard me correctly. Cow manure is loaded with phosphorus and nitrogen that when injected into the soil nearly eliminates the need for chemical fertilizers. Cow manure is a nutrient, a soil nutrient. Some of our fellow citizens have grave concerns about nitrogen and phosphorus runoff into our streams. While their concerns are respected, large dairies are regulated by government authorities using science designed to prevent pollution of our earth. Certainly, accidents and violations that have happened that are cause for concern by all of us. But I report to you, those accidents and violations are a small percentage of the manure management programs in force. Did you know that when chemical fertilizers are used, they are about 70% soluble and vulnerable to runoff when broadcast on the surface? The phosphorus in cow manure, however, is only about 2% soluble to runoff. My choice for growing corn is cow manure rather than chemical fertilizer. Besides, it is far cheaper. Every large dairy classified as a concentrated animal feeding operation, or CAFO, must have a nutrient management plan. Generally, herds are classified as a CAFO when they are over 700 cows. This plan defines the location for the distribution of the manure, when it will be done, how much, and chemical analysis of the soil and the manure so that just the correct amount is applied. The manure slurry is injected into the soil to prevent runoff. In other situations, the solids are separated from the liquids at the dairy. The solids are often sold to wholesale nurseries for growing roses and other plants. The liquid is irrigated onto the growing crops around the growing season. 
the nutrient management plan also specifies who on the response team to call should there be an emergency. It also has to be filed and approved by the authorities. Let me tell you about one of the unique things about cow manure. Using a methane digestion system on the manure from about 600 cows, enough methane can be produced to power a generation system that will supply electricity for 100 homes. Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you this may very well be the solution to the energy crisis in the future. My dairy reference book is called Milk Them for All They're Worth. Indeed, there's more to be made than just milk from dairy cows. And that's today's cow, folks. We'll see you next week. <laughs>Down the Road is brought to you in part by Prince Agra, makers of Omnigen AF, advancing animal nutrition for healthy animals. And Woodruff Enterprise of Springfield, Ohio.